Hi, I'm Nicole Ornelis with the County of San Diego Parks and Recreation Department. I'm a park ranger at San Diego County Park located in Del Mar, California. Approximately a mile and a half away from the Del Mar Fairgrounds. So if you're ever in the area, please swing on by and say hi to our staff. In San Diego County Park, it's approximately 125 acres with about four miles of trail to explore. The trail that I'm on today is our newly established native plant trail. It's approximately a quarter mile long and it's a full loop that circles our native garden. Native gardens and climate resiliency go hand in hand. We have focused on native gardens as a way to promote our climate action plan simply because native plants have done it best. They have done it best with adaptation. Over thousands and thousands of years, these plants have adapted to our local climate and soil conditions to work perfectly with all of the environment surrounding it. Some ways they've done this is being drought deciduous. So in the summer months, they drop their leaves, hold in all of their energy until our wet season in the springtime where they're able to show regrowth typically flower, seed, and have new plant populations in the years to follow. Another way that this can be done is through aromatic defenses or smaller leaves. You may notice that a lot of our plant communities have pretty small leaves that help them, like my hat's helping me, block that sun and not get sunburn in a similar fashion, but helping it retain moisture. These plants have adapted over thousands of years, but at the same time, the animals and the insects in this environment have also adapted upon these plant communities. The animals include insects like the harlequin bug that can spend its entire life on a bladder pod. This is very unique because it gets all of its resources from the bladder pod as well as a defense from the bladder pod. The bladder pod creates a toxin that is absorbed by the harlequin bug and helps reject any animals that might want to eat the harlequin bug. This plant community or our native garden can really demonstrate climate resiliency in a unique way. It does through this through three different steps. First is requiring less energy. It requires less energy by me and my staff, as well as by our resources. So we don't need to have our gasoline powered equipment, such as mowers, chainsaws, pruners coming out here and hedging anything. These plants are really self-sufficient and can do it themselves. Second, it requires less water. After these plants are established, they don't need an irrigation system. We don't need to get sprinklers out here or require anything except the water that comes from the sky. That might be pretty shocking since here in San Diego, we do technically live in a desert, but remember, these plants have adapted for thousands of years and I promise you they can survive on that less than 10 inches of rain every single year. Finally, it is climate resilient because the increased connections that a plant community like this builds. It's really a ground level that helps the entire community as a whole. When you have our native plants here, it brings in our native bee population, our native butterflies, our migratory birds, our native mammals, and everything in between and builds this entire relationship that is interconnected having plants at the foundation level. This can be demonstrated in your own yard. And actually I encourage this. If you have any space in your local neighborhood, in your front yard, backyard, or even in a local community park, please think about planting some native plants to get that foundation started to increase biodiversity in your environment and build that climate resiliency that will last more than your lifetime.
Thank you for joining me at San Diego County Park for this short little talk. I hope to see you guys soon in the field. Have a great day.